Hello, and welcome to Alien Isolation. This is a game that I've avoided playing for a very, very long time, and as you can tell, Final report of the I'm playing it in VR. More on that in just a minute. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. As I was saying, clearly, I'm playing this in virtual reality, not something that I am happy to be doing by any stretch of the imagination. I apologize, by the way, if my voice gets quieter as I look to my left, right, and sometimes up or down. But it can't really be avoided. I'll just try to work with what I've got. In any case, I've avoided playing this game as much as I possibly could, but I think I'm beyond the ability to avoid it any longer, especially now that I've got it working in VR. Oh, horror games are already tough enough for me. This is really not what I want to be doing, but here I am, and we're about to sign in at our workstation. Explore the Torrens. I can do that. Seems like it's going to be a good old fun time before we go to our terrible, terrible adventure here full of fear and screaming, I'm sure. Get dressed, I could do that in just a moment. Oh, but there's so many things to look at. What is, what's going on down here? There's like a it's like a game system. A bunch of cigarettes laying right there. Just the opening cinematic where we're standing in that black room and staring at the at the screen standing there. Oh, cute little sumo guy. Oh, he's adorable. 
it's weird that I can make out like all the materials used. This is way too realistic. It felt like uh, in that black room looking at the screen, it was like you're at an amusement park standing and waiting for a ride that you're terrified to get on. But way more lonely. This hallway feels great. I'm just the right height to pass under everything. I can definitely, I can feel the walls either side. I definitely feel like I could reach out and touch these if I really wanted to. Oh, good. I guess it's where we're supposed to go. Where do we get dressed? In one of these? I need to get dressed. I can't let everybody see me naked. I hear a beepy thing over to my right, but I'm going to ignore that for just a moment. Use registration points to manually save your progress. Okay, I didn't actually get the chance to see that, but I can save my game there. Not that I necessarily need to right at the moment, but I could. There's a green light up there. I can search. Oh, there's Compound B, an SCJ injector, and a scrap. I'll take all of it. I'm actually amazed by the clarity of this game. I can see the words right there. I can see all the different materials and things. Oh, it's it's just creepy to be able to look up at these monitors and feel like there's actually monitors above you. As far as my brain is concerned, I'm actually in the ship right now. Oh, good. Can we... Yeah, we can use the shower. Oh, beautiful. This is what I needed. A nice hot shower right before I set off on my tour of terror. All right, that's enough of that. We don't need a big shower. Uh, okay, a little toilet sitting there. Oh, what a comfy looking seat made of leather. A little beanbag. Uh oh, sorry about that. Knocked over your bottle there. I don't know what any of this means. It's a crew roster, obviously. Oh, all right. I just turned it off. Oh, the Torrens. Uh, three weeks? For, for me? Okay, sure. Maybe that's how long I've been asleep. Let's get dressed, shall we? Can't really see myself very well, but I can kind of see my model. Anyways, apparently I'm dressed. I'll take it. As, along with this more compound B and scrap, I'll take all of that. Ooh. Pretty ladies. Can I zoom in? No zooming to be done. Oh boy, that's weird. You can actually like read a lot of this. It looks like actual handwriting on paper. This is such a small touch for any normal video game, but in VR, I'm telling you, this adds to the realism and makes it feel just that much more real. This is the the minutia, the detail in everything is so much more prevalent. Look at all these green lights when it, when it comes to VR. Scrap a bonding agent, more scrap. I'll take all of it, sure. Uh, SCJ injector, why not? I'm sure I need that. Did I miss any of those green things? Oh, there's a couple on this side. Some scrap. And nothing at all. Okay, fantastic. But I've got everything. Alright, let's save so you stop beeping. Stop it. Oh, look, I've got like a, a sleeve over there. <laughs> over eight save data? Sure, why not? I don't have any save data that I need. All right, okay, we've done about everything, but we have a terminal we can look at real quick. Oh, that is so close to my face. I cannot read that red strip at all. Verlaine, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship, and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Mega Corps undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sound like you're doing okay, though. Drop by the docks and here you shipped off to... Oh, I forgot how he said that word. Sevastopol? Sevastopol? I don't know. Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland Gitani pay well. Good luck to you. You can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Alright, Blaine. Sure thing. I'm surprised I was able to read that as well as I could. Those are generally very hard to read in VR, but I did okay. Hey, the look a camera apparently you leave a horseshoe hovering above your face as you sleep it seems like a tremendously bad idea oh boy that door could destroy me if it closed down on me <laughs> oh oh i don't like all the movements this is gonna get really really unnerving very quickly oh hey spacesuits habitation a Systems control, comms unit, I don't know what any of that is, but there's some numbers and stuff and some handles that I'm probably not supposed to touch. 
I'm going to assume I'm going to be sitting in one of those here very, very soon. Because that's the airlock, I would guess. Nothing can be done in here. It's the airlock. Caution. Why is it even open right now? Is there a reason for that? I could go down the long spooky hallway. Or the slightly brighter one. I'll choose the slightly brighter one. <laughs> oh, there's a person in there. Someone that might be waiting to talk to us. It's the guy that was in the cutscene. I'll be there in just a moment. Hold on. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Right, okay, I'm supposed to speak to Samuels, but first I want to look around in here. There's so many cool things to see in VR. All these buttons. There's little screens. It's the same crew roster we saw before. I don't know what any of this means. I have absolutely no clue. Also, I knocked over that little stool and it scared the shit out of me just now. Keep close at all times. Uh, hello? Are you not following protocol? Because those are not closed. So I'm using a combination of my head movement and my mouse here to look around because I don't want to make these sweeping movements 